y'all welcome back to my channel this is driana jane and i am so glad that you guys are here not to see it all over my face so today we are doing a makeup look using the foodie box i did the unboxing the other day so today i wanted to actually put it to this test and see how great the products worked so if you want to see more on how I got this look, make sure that you keep on watching and also make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so every time I upload a video, you'll be notified. All right, before I do anything, I got to moisturize my lips. I got to use some Carmex, some chapstick, something. I can't have dry lips. Next, I'm going to take a primer and moisturize my face. Today, I'm using Becca Backlight Priming Filter. It works wonders. It's very soft and buttery, and I really love the way it feels on my skin. All right, next, we got to get these eyebrows together, honey. We can't be walking around here looking bushy and baggy in a hot mess, so... I am shaping my eyebrows with the regular spoolie. I think I got this from Ulta. It was like $5 or something like that. And I'm just going to shape my eyebrows in the way that I desire them to look. And then I'm going to go in with the Gimme Brow and Tinted Volume Eye Gel, Eyebrow Gel by Benefit in the shade 4. One of my favorite products. I buy it religiously. And then I'm going to take the Precisely My Brow Pencil also in the shade 4 by Benefit. It's like a medium brown color. And honey, let me tell you, you put that combo together, Benefit makes good products when it comes to eyebrow products. And of course, you're going to see a lot of dancing in this video. I am so sorry. I have to stay calm because doing makeup tutorials is a mess, especially for someone who's not a makeup artist. So yeah, just keep on shaping your eyebrows in the way that you want to look. You can see how different they look already. And then I'm going to take a primer by NYX from the Can't Stop, Won't Stop line in the color warm caramel and I'm just going to outline my eyebrow boom boom bada boom as you see more dancing more singing because that's just what I do all right so I use that shade the warm caramel at the bottom and I really enjoy these eyeshadow primers they're not even primers they're concealers but you know I use them as primer and then at the top of my eyebrow I'm going to take a shade that's a little closer to my skin tone because I don't like that harsh line some people do that's not my thing that's also by NYX can't stop won't stop and it's in the shade mahogany and you know still more dancing just make sure y'all blend. Blending is key to this. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. And it's like a white base. This is not my favorite. But this is all I had. This was the lightest color. And if you keep on watching, y'all going to see me make a hot mess. But I fixed it. This looks going to come together. But you just, you just watch me go in here real sloppy and just add all this all this to my eye. It, it looks a mess right now, but trust the process. I, I ain't gonna steer y'all wrong. I am not a makeup artist, y'all. I just, I just, yeah. I just be doing stuff and it just comes together how it comes together. So yeah, make sure y'all blend. Look at me. I done used up my dirty brush and it ain't even white anymore, y'all. <laughs> Whoops. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I was in a rush. That was the first brush I had. So I had just grabbed it. All right, now for the time, the star of the show, I'm taking the Pie Palette by Glam Light. And the first color that I'm going to use is, is that Mud Pie. And I'm going to put that all over my crease area and blend it out real good. Then I'm going to take Pumpkin Pie, which is a beautiful matte color. And I'm also going to put that in my crease area with the same brush and just smooth it out. Just trust the process. I have to pack this on a little bit, but it, it did what it had to do. And then I'm going to take this peachy color. It's called Peach. It's a shimmer. And I'm going to put that in my inner crease. Just keep watching. Just keep watching. Just watch me work. Mm -hmm. Both sides because we got to be quick with this, honey. I try to, you know, be fast. But I have to put a lot of product on this. It's not as Pickington. I think I didn't wet my brush. That's where I messed up. I did it on a dry brush. Anytime you're using glitter, make sure that you use a wet brush so that you can get 
maximum product and lessen the fallout then next we're going to take the color nutty peach and it's also a shimmer and i'm going to put that right in the middle of my eyelid you see me just take your time honey just keep going and make sure that you blend even with these uh the glitters make sure you blend you don't want any harsh lines you want this look to be as seamlessly as possible so yeah just keep blending it out all right, and then I'm going to take this color Sweet Potato. It's a matte, and I'm going to put it right on the outside. Gorgeous little brown. I really like that color. Just put it all on the outside and just blend, blend, blend. All right, then I'm taking this color Apple Pie. It's also a shimmer. If you know, you know my signature look. I have to put some type of glitter on the outside. So next I'm taking my becca primer skin love in the shade express so this is this continued and my feelings are so hurt because i love this primer i mean this uh foundation like it's literally my color i don't have to do too much i don't have to add anything it matches my undertone it's not too dry i really love this and i'm so sad that they discontinued it i'm so glad that I was able to get it, but dang, Becca, why y'all had to go bankrupt on your girl? But yeah, I'm just blending that in real good. Um, just doing what I got to do. And I'm so sorry for me trying to talk with this voiceover. I am not good at this. I be stuttering all over my words. I've had to re-record this several times. So y'all just bear with the girl while I do this makeup look. Just get into it. I just keep blending. Of course, I get hair everywhere. All right, so I always use my eyeliner immediately after i do my foundation i'll tell you why so that is going to be the essence eyeliner super last matte black so the reason why i do this is because i want my concealer to be more precise and if i made any demarcations with the eyeliner the concealer is going to cover that up so i always do some type of dramatic wing look at me dancing look at me dancing I just have to do a dramatic wing. I, that's just my signature look. My signature look includes that glitter halo on the out, the inner lid, and then my dramatic wing. That's just me. Get into it. All right, the two concealers that I'm going to use today is going to be the Warm Caramel again, and then I'm also going to use Warm Honey. All of my highlighted areas. Boom, boom. Get into it, y'all. Y'all, I'm kind of cute. Go ahead, girl. Go off this good skin. All right, make sure y'all blend it out. Blend it. Blend it. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. Blend till you can't no more. Keep blending. You ain't done blending. All right. So then I'm going to take my Juvia's Place um, I Am Magic Setting Powder in the shade Gobi. And I'm going to dust that and probably make a big mess because one thing about me, I'm going to make a mess. Just going to set my face. And my highlighted areas with that boom boom bada bing look at me look at me and it may look a little ghostly now but it won't be looking ghostly in a few minutes y'all just trust the process keep watching keep watching all right then i'm going to take my fenty foundation stick in the shade espresso i think espresso is just my color i have a lot of products in the shade espresso but i use this to contour and i do not contour like everybody else this this how it looks on me because that's naturally where my skin contours so you know that's how i roll and i have a, a weird looking nose so I, of course i'm not subconscious i love my nose i love everything about me but that nose be looking weird sometimes so i do conceal my nose to give it a more defined shape and kind of make it a bit smaller but y'all you really gotta blend this down blend it down and you just keep blending until you can't blend no more. And some with me, I also go in with my foundation brush or just a clean brush. And I will smooth that out as you see here so that it's not as um, defined and not as harsh. So yeah, make sure you use like the same foundation brush that you previously put your foundation or even a clean brush. All right. So then I'm going to take another powder, which is similar to my skin tone. It's the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in the shade medium deep and I'm going to put that all over my face so as you see I still have the highlight from the Juvia's Place Gobi setting powder but it just works a little better all right 
All right, here comes the blush, y'all. Y'all knows I'm a blush girl. I love a good breast blush. So I'm going back in with the apple pie eyeshadow base. And then I'm going to get the, I don't even remember what shade that was. I don't even see it in my notes anymore, guys. But I'll definitely put it in the description bar of what blush that I use. Sorry, y'all. Look at me dancing. Skipping over stuff. All right, then I'm going to take this Maybelline mascara in the, total temptation line and just prep my lashes because I used to have really long lashes and I don't know what happened they're kind of small now all right then I'm going to fill in my bottom lash line with just a regular black eyeliner I can't even remember what shade it was it wasn't memorable All right, keep going. Look at me, forgetting stuff, losing stuff. Oh, I did magnetic lashes this time. All right. Did I really use magnetic lashes? I don't be knowing what I put on my face, y'all. I just be doing stuff. But I'm going to assume that it was by the Kiss line or either even Ardell, one of those. And I probably did my lashes off camera because I am not a professional child. I just do what I can. And that eyeliner, that magnetic eyeliner is by I Envy. All right, then I'm going to take the Cookies and Milk highlighter from Glam Light and Boo Boo. I love this. I use this religiously. Don't it look good? Look how she glitters. Look how she sparkles, honey. Let's get into this highlight. I was feeling myself towards the end when I saw this look come together because, honey, one thing about me, if I don't blush, I'm a highlight. That's for sure. Even if I don't wear makeup, I'm probably going to highlight. I, I just love to be a melanated queen glowing out here in these streets. Let's get into it, honey. And then I just smooth it and blend it on out because you just got to blend. You got to blend. All right, just keep blending to get rid of some of those harsh lines from the highlight. Tap that forehead, child. I'm adding a second coat of the NV, IMV Magnetic Eyeliner so that my eyelashes can stick. And I wish I knew what eyelashes I had on because they were very cute. But I'm pretty sure they were like a kiss from like Walmart or something. Don't hold me to it. Look at that. I already know. This is about to be magic. Look at me. I had to do it off camera because I don't know how to put on lashes, y'all. And y'all were not about to talk about me. You just were not. But look. Okay, period. Period. All right, and then I'm going to take the Morphing Setting Spray in the Continuous Setting Mist, and I'm going to spray that. Then I'm going to take the Essence Soft Contouring Eyeliner in the shade Deeply Intoxicated. I'm using that as a lip liner because same difference. They're made simultaneously. And then I'm going to take the Glam Light Eggnog Lip Gloss Honey. And when I tell you it came with a mirror and I got so excited, I'm going to take that. And dab that all over my lips. We're going to see if I did a good job and made it look at least cute for y'all. Because y'all know, if y'all watch my videos, I, be looking, I put on lip gloss a little sloppy, honey. I did what I had to do and I showed out on y'all. But I really think this look came together overall. I think I look like a baddie. I don't know where I was going, but I went somewhere. But look at me. Look at me. Get into it. Okay, face. It's giving face. Oh. Girl, go off. All right, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like this look. If you want to see more, just let me know down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.